What's up guys? Just a few days ago, I talked about Samsung's new One UI 3.1.1 update, which was rolling out to a ton of devices and bringing some really nice features to some of the foldable devices, in particular the older foldable devices like the Z Fold 1 and 2. Because, you know, a lot of the Z Fold 3's really cool stuff is just software, and apparently they're cool with giving this to the people who own the Z Fold 2. So in this video, I'm gonna really quickly run through some of my favorite features of One UI 3.1.1 on my Galaxy Z Fold 2 and kind of show you how they work. I think a lot of them are really, really good. So I think the biggest one and the one that I was most excited to get to try on my Z Fold 2 has to do with this cool little side taskbar thing that you have on the Z Fold and a lot of the actual Z devices now. And generally what you're able to do with this is you're able to open up apps, right? Or you're able to drag other apps over in order to do split screen and all sorts of cool things like that. And we'll be talking more about split screen later. But on the Z Fold 3, you can actually pin that taskbar to the side like a true desktop taskbar. And that is not something you can do on the Z Fold 2. And it's super, super simple. All you have to do is slide that guy out, hit your little three lines down there, and hit pin. And what you now have is a list of those apps that you use and you can have them right there at any time, no matter what app is open. Let's, let's go ahead and open up Twitter again, and that taskbar will stay in place, ready to be utilized to open up any app you want to open. There's one setting I would recommend making sure is set to the way I'm going to show you, because I think it works better this way. So open that back up, hit those three lines. Let's go to edit, and let's go ahead and click on the three buttons top right. And you can choose between touch and hold or tap to open split screen view. So you're going to want to have it on touch and hold, and here's why. Let's switch it over to tap, and I'll show you how that behavior sort of works. So if we pin this back again, and I go to select Twitter, what's going to happen is it's going to open just fine. However, when I open my second app, it's going to automatically try and split screen it. And that might work fine for you, but for me, the better behavior, if we go back into our settings here, and we change this to touch and hold, and we pin our taskbar back. I prefer this behavior better because when it's on touch and hold, I can launch Twitter, I can launch YouTube, I can launch YouTube music, I can do whatever I want. And if I want a split screen, all I have to do is touch, hold, and drag the icon over, and that's how I'm going to split screen, which I think works better in terms of quickly switching between apps and multitasking if you want to do that. The only thing I don't like about this taskbar, you can see it here up top, there's a weird gap there. And the reason is because on the Z Fold 2, you've got a camera. So there's sliding things like the Wi-Fi icon way over past that camera hole punch and it, it does hurt my OCD a little bit. But all in all, I think it's really, really good. So from there, let's jump into our settings. And when you're in tablet mode, you're going to notice this really good side-by-side -side kind of view where our settings is it's actually taking advantage of the fact that you're, you're running on a tablet and it looks 10 times better than it did before. And it's much more usable. So you're going to scroll down to where you see advanced features and then you see labs. And you've got some good stuff here, right? So you're going to want to turn on multi-window for all apps. And the reason you're going to want to do this is because some apps won't let you do multi-window, right? Multi-window is when you're split screen multitasking. Apps like Instagram won't let you do that. Well, guess what? Now they will. Let's grab Instagram and throw it over here and bada bing, bada boom. You got multitasking split window view Instagram. How good is that? Let's get rid of Instagram though. You've got the ability to auto rotate apps. So by default, Instagram does not rotate, right? However, if we go back to our settings here and we set Instagram to full screen, let's go back to Instagram now, guess what? It's gonna rotate now. I don't know why on earth you would ever wanna rotate <laughs> Instagram. Seems like a terrible idea, but you can if you want to. What about this option here that says flex mode panel? Let's see what happens if we turn it on for Reddit. Let's open up Reddit and let's go into flex mode, which is where we, we, we halfway bend the thing oh well look at that now what you have reddit up top here you can control your brightness down here you can control your volume down here you can take a screenshot i'm assuming yep sure did 
And then what is this? Pull down your notifications. So if you're into using it like a laptop, that's kind of an interesting functionality there where you've got some controls there. Maybe you're watching a video, you know, obviously certain apps like YouTube already supported flex mode where it would kind of give you a, you know, a laptop view already. But if other apps you use don't support it and you want to use it, guess what? It's there for you to enable on your own now. Now, unfortunately, this next feature is maybe my favorite one, but it's really limited as to how many apps it actually works for. So currently, this only works with Samsung Internet, Samsung Notes, My Files, Messages, Microsoft Office, OneNote, and OneDrive. There may be some more out there, but unfortunately, that's about all it works with for now. But what it is that we're talking about here, if you open up Samsung Internet, and let's say you go to your favorite website, scaryifliteral.com, and you see a link here that you want to click. Normally, yeah, you can just click a link, sure, and it's going to open up a web page. However, now you can actually long press that link and drag it to the edge of your screen where it will be opened up in its own separate window. How good is that? I literally cannot wrap my head around how well that works and how good that actually is. I wish this worked with everything. And while we're in this split screen view, they have tweaked things a bit here too. Let's go ahead and bring another app in here as well. Let's get Twitter in here because what they've done is they've made this just much more natural is what they're calling it, where essentially any app can be effectively almost any size. Now there is some restriction here, but all of this works really, really well now. And when you combine it with the fact that now any app can split screen and any app can rotate, You've got a really, really good multitasking experience on the Z Fold devices. Now, there is one more feature that I kind of wanted to talk about, but I don't want to show you on my own device because my home screen is set up exactly how I like it, and I don't want to mess with it for fear of it messing it up and me having to go through the task of setting it up again. But what it's called is cover screen mirroring. So on the current setup of the Z Fold devices, you have essentially two discrete home screen. So you've got your uh, cover display home screen, which is set up however you want it to be set up. And then when you open up the device, you will get your tablet display sort of set up and it will be totally different. It's its own setup. However, with cover screen mirroring on, basically what you get is what they're showing here. Your first two screens on your cover display will just be simply copied over to your internal display. So you're not having to set up two separate home screens. Now for me, it's actually an advantage to be setting up two home screens. I like that better. But if you want to keep things simple, that is a really good feature as well. So guys, loads of great features coming to the Z Fold devices. And like I said earlier, all these work on the Z Fold 1, 2, and 3. The 3 already had them. The 1 and the 2 are now getting them. Did I miss anything in this video that you really love? Let me know about that in the comments down below. And if there's a feature I talked about that is your favorite, let me know about that as well. Stay tuned for more coverage just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.